Spies. It's Spies. Here to talk about augmentation invokers, the nerfs that are coming out, my experience with them, and all that jazz. So here we go. If you don't know, augmentation invokers is a new spec that they are DPS, but instead of them doing all the DPS, they are a buff class that buff the other DPS to do more damage, and then themselves don't do that much damage um, if you just look at the meters. Um, they are. They also come with a lot of good utility and bring a lot of survivability tools for the group, and they have become one of the new favorites in the Mythic Plus scene. So a lot of these nerfs are targeted just at the Mythic Plus level. Even says here in the developer's note, Aug is overperforming a dungeon and is doing less direct damage than intended relative to the power that they are, they bop other people. These adjustments will increase their personal damage in all situations, moderately reduce the effectiveness of their buff in dungeon content specifically. Um, so closest cuts Clutch Mate now causes Ebon Might and Breath of the Eons to be 20% more effective while not in a raid, and was 40%. So the idea here is um, you had this um, ability called Closest Clutch Mate that says when you were not in a raid, it buff Ebon Might and Breath of Eons to uh, be 40% more effective because in a when you're in a raid, your Ebon Might always buffs four other DPS, but when you're in a Mythic Plus, you only have two other DPS to buff. Now, the Evan Might then jumps on to the tank and the healer, but they think they just, to make up for not for it not jumping to four DPS, it gives it, they buffed it. Um, same with Breath's Beyonds. But they think that buff is too strong now, so now it's only 20% more effective than 40%, which... You know, I'm sure everyone's not going to feel as good as giving that big, juicy main stat to everyone. It can be 20% uh, less. Um, fix a bug where closest clutch mage will not increase the evoker's damage done by, by uh, Ebon Might for periodic effects. Okay, a little buff fix. So um, next, Ebon Might now increases the evoker damage done by 20% less 10%. Um, so you'll deal 10% 10 uh, even more damage during Ebon Might. And eruption damage increased by 40%. Here's the part where they said that um, they're buffing your, your own personal damage and lowering the buffs. Uh, Faith Mirror's chance to occur reduced to 15% was 20%. Um, this is when you give people precipice, um, or pre-science, however you pronounce it. Um, the fate mere talent was the talent that says, um, when they have that buff, their damage or healing has a chance to, um, echo and deal 20%, uh, damage, uh, or healing, like, um, now it only has a 15% chance of proccing instead of 20 Here's the big one, I think, for Mythic Plus. Uh, Aspect Favor amplifies Black Entombment to 7 and 10% of ma uh, maximum health instead of being 10 to 16%. If you don't know, uh, Black Entombment is the entombment you usually sit into that just sends out an aura that gives you and the closest four people 4% 4 maximum health, which basically, you know, if you just... It's basically a priest uh, prayer fortitude. It actually stacks with priest prayer fortitude. Um, and then when you hit your uh, obsidian scales, it was like a mini warrior shout, and it would bump up to an additional 16% health to everyone for X amount of seconds. I forget what, what it is off the top of my head. Um, and your obsidian scales is a minute 30 cooldown with two charges. So you had this basically warrior shout on with two charges, buffing everyone's health by 20%, which is huge deal in Mythic Plus um, to help survivability. Um, so they're nerfing this um, from 16 down to 10%. So when you press it, it will only 
bring everyone up to a maximum of 14% more health instead of 20%. Still good, but still not as good as before. So the, those are the, the nerfs. And like I said, it's mostly the Mythic Plus because they're hitting this close as clutch mates. Um, actually, this might be a slight net positive buff in raids, possibly. I'm not a wild mathematician, so I'm not here crunching numbers, but it might be an actual buff in raids. Slight, very, very slight buff in a sort of nerf in raids. Or, I'm sorry, nerf in Mythic Plus. So, how I've been liking, um, Augmentation Evoker. Um, I never really got a chance to test them on the PTR or anything, so the week they came out, I worked 10 hour days, Monday through Thursday, so I never really got a chance to test them out until Thursday night. Um, then I started messing around with it and then running um, some Mythic Plus the first week they were out, and it took me about, you know, half a day to figure out how they play and then well let me back up so before <laughs> I went into Mythic Plus as an augmentation invoker I had no, no portals I had most of the dungeons time at a 19 but n none of them at a 20 uh, this is what I have now so last week during the fort week I got a whole bunch of 20s done and now this week, the tyrannical week, I have everything at least a 21. And trust me, some of these dungeons on tyrannical before I switched over to augmentation, um, like um, I think halls of uh, halls, <laughs> my my best tyrannical was like a 17 untimed. And now I have a 23, some 22s, some 21s. Um, so. Yeah, I was riding the back of the overpoweredness of Augmentation of Bokers, but I do enjoy the class. I do enjoy the spec. I, I in fact, I enjoy the the whole um, Evoker class in general. Um, so, I mean, if the, these nerfs were uh, were want were you know needed because. If I'm timing a 23 uh, as this uh, spec, uh, something probably needs to look at. <laughs> but yeah, so they're just my, my, my thoughts of the nerfs and augmentation in general. Um, someday, maybe I will get that legendary and I'll be the, the true buff bot. Thank everyone for watching. Have a great day.